So when I first started in network marketing, I was actually living in a fourplex apartment and traveling uh, one hour to uh, down to Austin to work at Dell in my beautiful uh, blue Geo Metro. And I was actually, I remember it was like $181 for the payment. And sometimes those payments were late, you know what I mean? Growing up, my dad was a football coach, athletic director, and my mom was an operating room nurse. And we all got into sports. We all ended up playing uh, you know, high school football, and we all did very well. Um, and I, I tried to take it into the next level, into college. And you know, I played junior college, but figured out that after a little while that I don't think I'm gonna go pro in this anytime soon. And so um, I decided that, you know what, I need to move in a different direction. It was kind of rough because football had been my whole life. Um, I was good at it, but you know, at some point I was like, you know what, I got to do something different. So I decided to go over to the um, ROTC department at University of California, Santa Barbara, and signed up for their ROTC program, went through it, and ended up getting a scholarship. So then school was paid for, I took that burden off my parents, and I got a commission as a second lieutenant in the Army back in 1993. So my wife and I got married and I was still in the Army and I said, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna get out. I don't wanna be married in the Army. I need to, I wanna move on. We're about to have a, you know, we decided we're gonna have a, some kids and I wanted to be doing something different but I really didn't know what to do. It's crazy to think about where we've come from uh, to now. I ended up quitting. We had our second child, Tyler. I quit my job and haven't had a job in over a decade because of network marketing. I had a really successful business. I made a few million dollars over time. Uh, spent about 12 years in that company. And when I saw the executives of that company get up and leave, uh, I was like, wow, where are they going? I knew them, I knew who they were. Um, you know, they had a big impact on all of us. And so I put a lot of things at risk. You know, there was nothing set in stone. I heard that there was things like the Founders Club and all that, but at that point, you know, we were just getting going. I would go down to the office quite a bit and I got to know the executives and the founders of RX really well. And what I really noticed about them is they were always working. They were working their guts out. They were working their eyeballs out. They weren't sleeping. You know, they had red lines in their eyes and you know, uh, they were always going somewhere and they were always doing something. So what it told me is I need to get to work. I needed to make sure I was working, doing my part. It motivated me to put my head down, go to work, make phone calls when people didn't want to do it, when you didn't want to do it, right? You wanted to slack off. I couldn't slack off because they weren't slacking off. And it was like one of those days that I had been working. Um, you know, I was in a old raggedy sweatshirt. I hadn't showered. It was like probably four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and I was, you know, working. I had my head down doing that type of stuff. And all of a sudden I got this Skype call and also Deanna Lotson came barging in because she just lives about 15 minutes from me. She came barging in with these balloons and all this stuff. I'm like, what are you doing here? And then a Skype call came in and all the founders of RX were now talking to me and saying that, you know, welcome to the Founders Club. And I was like, are you, you got the right guy? You know, tying in all those things I learned as a, as a football player, uh, and then being a part of those teams, and then going into the military and getting all, those, all that responsibility put on your shoulders, and then bringing that, that leadership experience forward into network marketing has just been amazing, and it's really completely changed our lives. It's allowed my wife to be, like I said, the mom of the year, and us as, as a couple to be able to raise our kids and you know, have a big impact on them, and the lifestyle that for sticking with something, uh, knowing that it's going to work, not ever, always knowing how it's gonna turn out, it's completely uh, changed the, you know, the way we've been able to grow up our kids, and be around our fam you know, our family a whole bunch. We're always around them on a daily basis. We do everything together, we travel together, and we have a lot of fun together as well. And I know that's made a huge impact. My kids are real close to each other, they're friends, and they get along great. You know, Annabella, she loves gymnastics, she does cartwheels, I don't know, everywhere she goes. Tyler has everything about football now, and Samantha, you know, being able to get her into a private school. Uh, it's just been amazing what we've been able to accomplish. Basically, you know, you got to be in this business. You really got to be down to earth. You got to work with people because at the end of the day, you're, you know, what's going on in your business. You're working with people. You're helping them, helping a customer get results. You're helping someone overcome some of their fears about, you know, talking to someone or doing anything, right? And so it's, it can be a lot of fun, and uh, and you got to keep it humorous, and you know, really invest time with folks. You know, he's a guy that just uh, he won't give up. You know, absolutely will not give up. Won't quit. He knows what he wants and he wants that same thing for you too, and he's willing to do it with you. They have to know that you're invested in them, and that's the thing that I always try to do is, you know, work harder for the people than, you know, than you're gonna work for yourself. And put them first, and when you do that, 
great results have it. You know, try to make them have a good scoreboard, and you know, and then we all win together. Every morning I pick up the phone, and he and I talk just about every day, and uh, it gets me going, and it gets me gets me charged, gets me fired up, and I'm able to do the things I need to do. Steve cares. He cares about everybody, and not even in just his team, but in RX. He wants everybody to succeed. In this industry, we need to have support. That we're in business for ourselves, but not by ourselves, and Steve has proven that to me. He's honest, he's sincere, he's, uh, he's definitely uh, accountable and dependable, and he's also a very good friend. There's a lot of people that have stuck with us from the very beginning. You know, when we first started, it wasn't always easy. And people have stuck with us. They're loyal. It's exciting to see the growth of, of where people are going. Friends of mine are, are, are earning income, changing their lives. You know, Myrna and I really want to say thank you so much. You guys have completely helped change our lives forever, and uh, we appreciate it so much. We look forward to a bright future with you and building RX to one of the biggest companies this industry has ever seen.